Hello friends, welcome to Squared Plans. I'm Stephanie and today we're going to be setting up our health spreads for the next week in March. I've got some washi tape here ready to go, as well as these stat stickers I printed with my Foam Memo printer, these wellness sticker box stickers for health trackers, and these sticker books which I pulled from. And this is the third week of the March Planable Challenge. This week's theme is Go Green. So if you'd like to participate, go ahead and post your spreads up on Instagram using the hashtag PlanableMarch2021. We'd love to see what you come up with. So this week I decided that I was going to do the Go Green theme in my health planner. And to start off, I'm just going to go ahead and lay in these stat stickers that I printed. This template in particular is a new one that I created on my computer to add, but I do give away a bunch of different styles if you are looking for some stat stickers. There is a link in the video description below that will guide you to where you can download those. So just check that out if you are looking for some templates to print on your own. But anyway, so yeah, I printed these guys and basically I just did a different font and added a thicker black line just as a different way to have them. So I'm laying those in now and I'm realizing that the line isn't quite long enough to reach to the top of the box. So that's a bit of a problem. I have to fix that on the file, but we're going to go ahead and wing it here and try to make it work for this spread since I've already laid them down. So since I'm going to have to figure something out there, I went ahead and started whiting out the horizontal lines there dividing up the two top boxes since I will be doing a spread that uses both together as one long box. So originally I wasn't going to use the washi here, but when I saw that I thought, well, the washi should be a good way to cover up that little empty area right at the top there of the box. So I'm going to go ahead and lay some washi tape down. And this washi tape came from the Homebody washi tape set from the Happy Planner. So now I'm going into my habit trackers from the Wellness sticker box and just pulled out the ones with the closest shade of green that I could find to the ones I need for this spread because I'm kind of going more for a muted green, more of a avocado green, which is going to be the main decor for the spread. And I was pretty much inspired to use these avocados because I was flipping through my food sticker book and thought I would do like leafy greens and things like that. So I went into my recipe sticker book to look for coordinating shades of green and I saw that I had a huge page there of avocados that I was like, when am I going to ever use all of these avocados on a spread? Well, I decided that today's the day that we're going to use all of the avocados here on the spread and kind of make that the main decor. Also too, you're going to see a lot of fluctuation in the lighting. I was filming this with natural light and it was a kind of stormy day so it kept getting bright and then dark and then bright and so I tried to level it out when I caught it, but sometimes it gets really dark and sometimes, you know, it gets a little too bright. I should have anticipated it, but I was eager to get this filmed and out to you guys. Anyway, so I'm going to use all of those avocados on the page, or most of them, I think, and do some kind of spread with them as decor. We'll see how this turns out. My idea was to do kind of like a raining down of avocados at first and I was going to use these little flags to be my markers for tracking workouts but I kind of felt like they were too small and like competed with the avocados a bit so I decided against that but thought maybe I could pull them in over here at the food log area. Maybe. We'll see. 
And I actually kind of like that washi tape to the long quote that I pulled. I'm trying to work that out, but then, yeah, this one, it took a little while for me to figure out how I wanted this to look. I didn't want it to be too, I don't know, just disjointed because of the small decor. I've said this a million times. Small decor really just messes things up. It really makes it hard to make a good clean spread because it's so tiny. They're, you know, they're just small stickers everywhere and it's it's hard to not be busy. So you got to get clever with the way that you spread things around so it looks cute and not just full of clutter. So while I was talking you through that, I realized that I was one short on the dark green food lock stickers that I wanted to use. And I was like, well, hmm, where else do I have this exact style of food log stickers that I could pull in some different ones? And I remembered that the Healthy Hero had a very similar, longer style and very skinny style of the food lock stickers. Luckily, I had three black that I could kind of alternate in there. But now I'm looking at it and I don't really like that, so that will change. <laughs> I'm like, um, I mean, it's okay, but I think I want it to be more green than black, and so the black is distracting me for the moment. But since I didn't have a better solution at the time, I went back to the avocados to see how those were going to fill in, and because I had only started in the corner, I kind of got the idea to do more of a diagonal, like, just rush of avocados going across the page diagonally and that's what I ended up going with instead of doing the raining avocados. I think it gives a little bit more interest to the spread other than just the raining avocados but um, it could have been really cute too just you know coming down from the top and trickling down into almost to the food log stickers. I like to do it where it's more dense at the top whenever I do like a raining down spread. So whatever I'm using, I put more of them at the top and then less and less as I work my way down the page. So it looks like it's kind of fading out, if you will. But like I said, I ended up not actually even doing that. I ended up doing a diagonal line and just trying to make them look a little bit randomized. And here's where I finally switch out all of those food log stickers and decide, okay, I'm just going to have one that's black. And I know it's kind of weird, but I'm going to put that on my quote unquote cheat day. I've been doing my cheat day kind of like Friday into Saturday, which is not how you're supposed to do it. But Saturday's my rest day, like Friday kicks it off. And so, <laughs> yeah, anyway, and I like to go get the donuts, you know, and just have them ready. That's basically what my cheat meal is, is like just a bunch of donuts. So that way I kind of don't feel deprived throughout the week and I feel like, okay, I'm getting my, my donut fix and I, I don't feel like I'm missing out on something. That's my new strategy at least. We'll see if it works. But anyway, so I'm filling in more with these avocados. They kind of look like cells <laughs> i'm looking at them right now and i'm like hmm, they kind of look like a bloodstream <laughs> in green uh i don't know but if we just get past that that they're half avocado open avocados i think it's cute So I decided to put back those flag stickers and try to figure out how I want this washi tape to lay in. I'm not in love with its placement currently, so I'm going to move it around a little bit, try to figure out how it might work. I've got to be careful that I don't encroach upon the area where I need to put in my actual workouts. So that will change probably because the way I have it now, I won't really have enough room to write in clean workouts on each day. I usually put two workouts down so I need to at least have room for it in case I do get it done and the washi tape placement won't work the way it is now. And then I decided that there was just too much pattern here with this washi tape. 
it has like a leaf pattern on it, which I like, but it's just a little bit much with, again, the smaller decor. So I decided to trim it down and just use it a real thin slice of it to fill that empty space at the top of the stat stickers and just give like a fine line of green. And of course, one side's thicker than the other. I don't know why. And I also don't know why the second side did not want to come up when I was cutting it. So it pulled up a lot of the paper in certain areas, but I don't know, whatever. We're just working with it here. I just couldn't handle it being as thick as it was. So just laying in those food log stickers now, just trying to make them straight. And then I'm gonna reposition that little avocado in the space. That is a sticker that I cut out the shopping cart in and had like a little circle sticker icon there and I just replaced it with the avocado. So now I'm laying in the quote and I already laid down the bottom wash tape. Decided to put it at the very bottom of the box so it wouldn't take up space where I needed to write. I did lay it down lightly at first though in case I wanted to change my mind so that I could hopefully get it back up if I needed to. And now I'm going to try to move over my little cascade of avocados and originally I was going to try to do the roll off technique but they're not really touching so it makes it harder to do that. If you don't have the stickers touching, the roll-off technique really doesn't work that well, especially with smaller things. If it was bigger, maybe, but the smaller things, it's probably just easier for me to move them over. And since it doesn't have to be exact, exact, the way that they're supposed to be kind of randomized anyway, I just figured it would be faster for me to do it this way than to try to fight the wax paper to get each one off individually. And then darkness, <laughs> got so dark. <laughs> so I decided that I was gonna put this washi tape here at the top on the side. I liked it better once I had cut down the bottom part of washi so it wasn't like so in your face and so layered. And I definitely put some of these closer together than they were before. So I'm gonna have to come and pull in a few more just to even things out. I also want it to look just like one unit. That definitely helps when you have small decor, like making things look like they're together as one piece. It, no matter what it is, if they're Repeating it's usually good, but even if they're not like a bunch of small flowers, if you put them together in a cluster, that usually helps a lot with how they, you know, look on the page and it tones down the amount of clutter that they tend to give off. And I'm just trimming them out now and trying to reuse the trimmings wherever I can. And once I am done with that, you guys, we will be done. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up down below. Go ahead and leave me a comment if you'd like to get in touch and think about subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, if you'd like to see more of my videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it and we'll see you next time. Bye.